We are back at it again here with the non video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with COSM Cosmo Holdings Inc. doing a complete transition from the dip area of white with red borders to bright green bars here. And I've left the drawings that I talked about in yesterday's video, which we're going to use to break down everything going on today and jump on what's going on with the inflow versus outflow after today's price action. Now, COSM was not the only stock pushing up higher today. The overall market in SPY did as well. And our SPY bot since 9.40 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, the inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision. And call options went up 200% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So as you see it here in the charts, the last time we hit Y with red borders was way back here in november 7th and the 8th right you could see it right there first time that it's happened in weeks and here we are with it trying to bring itself back up and doing a full transition we're gonna break it all down in today's video but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the first home run was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator since 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. Our second home run, we caught this one in the pre-market, TOPS. We were watching it sitting sideways in the pre-market. We were looking for inflows to pick back up and stay above the midpoint. And as you can see there, it stayed above the midpoint, shifted from red to green. Full strength there on 42 vision and hit a highest point of 25% plus within minutes, guys. You guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with cosmos holdings inc cosm stock trying to bring itself back up this is what i drew out in yesterday's video we were looking for inflows to come back up for it to do the staircase effect and try to continue to bounce up higher. Didn't have to land exactly in these areas, but interesting enough, we talked about 55 and 60 cent area rejected, and it also rejected 55 as it's trying to come back up, but still higher than where it ended yesterday, right? And we're gonna break it all down in today's video. And if it's your first time coming across the channel, we use 42 vision to allow us to see the dip areas, which is why we're Fred borders and the rip areas, which is bright green. And also when the transitions happen from the rip area back down to the dip area, and we use the bull and bear indicators in the inflow versus outflow as extra layers of confirmation, which I'm gonna pull up here as well. And you can now gain access to them. And the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So as we can see here, it got a bull indicator. The transitions continued on 42 vision from white with red borders to red with green to dark green and bright green, completing a full transition there on 42 vision. The inflows crossed back up as we were looking for them to start pulling upwards towards the midpoint and cross back up. And on the one hour, you could see here how these inflows crossed over as well, which we're going to look at that in just a moment, how this is significant that we're above it and what to look for going into Monday, right? But here on the 30 minute, the outflows have began 
They haven't crossed just yet. That's why it hasn't completely collapsed down. And this bull indicator has not been canceled by a bear indicator because the possibility is higher if it crosses back down of a bear indicator popping up. Now, what we did see was within this strength here to the upside, it got above 55 and it rejected right above 60 at 61 cents and it came back down and it's trying to fight there all afternoon and rejected multiple times how 55 was a resistance and they couldn't turn it obviously the bulls into a support to bounce off of it to go to the next levels above 60 to 65 and so forth so critical level there of resistance 55 to watch into monday but i'm going to remove these drawings here i just shared them here so you guys could see what we were looking for the bear indicator to get canceled we were looking for strength here for another bull indicator and continuation and inflows to go ahead and go ahead and cross over but here we are at 51 cents and if you haven't seen my previous videos we talked about on november 28th the date that this filing and information came out that the ceo bought shares right at an average of about 62 cents and that's what made things move up a lot higher here right back here on november 28th from the 50 cent area all the way up to 88 and we talked about how 88 was a pivotal resistance based off the history of the chart and also 72 cents it broke through it got above it went to 88 and since then it rejected and 85 has been rejected multiple times here on november 29th and since then it has fallen to this point and here we are full transition down bear indicator popped up here on november 30th obviously there was one here on november 29th but it brought itself back up and this bear indicator has been strong since then rejecting everything to the downside and no bull indicator has popped up until today guys and this is pivotal within the volatility because on the 15 minute you could see how it's trying to hold itself up above the midpoint they crossed over today in the pre-market it got that bull indicator around 43 cents you could see how it bounced off that area today right and then it continued going higher found support there in strength but outflows are beginning to get closer guys I'm going to be watching this going into Monday if it crosses over and how significant it could be because it is under a bear indicator since up here at 55 cents. And if that crossover happens, it could roll over into the 30 minute. And you can see the 30 minute is looking pretty steep as well. I want to see this try to find support and turn from red to green and turn back around, pulling away from the midpoint and continue that strength into the charts. Now, We've talked about this in yesterday's video, and I stated, I personally believe, and this is my opinion and perspective alone, I could be completely wrong, not financial advice, that the CEO has been purchasing large orders. It just didn't make sense why he would average up. He needs to see some type of value in the company, but he's probably purchasing because a reverse split vote is coming on its way, right? It's bound to happen, and if it does, the longer this stays below a dollar, the higher the chances of reverse splitting and the company has until January. And how does the CEO get more voting power? By having more shares. So something interesting. I shared my thoughts on it yesterday. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Do you agree with that thought process? Or do you think he's just bullish and he's not trying to get voting power to have that higher vote count to go ahead and say yes for a reverse split? Because that vote will count and it will be happening sometime before january right and we're in december and the higher the chances of that happening is the longer this stock stays below a dollar definitely something to be aware of now here we are with it above 50 cents again i'm gonna be watching here if it could hold itself up above 45 if it goes below that how deep these outflows become does it go towards 37 35 cent area and to the upside, if these inflows can continue strong and continue pulling up the one hour as well, not just sit sideways, but pull itself upwards, then 
the next level I'll be watching to the upside is 60 cents and above 60 cents back to 65. Now, if that staircase effect can actually continue and push itself even higher, the next resistance level is up at 70 cents, slightly above where that bear indicator popped up here on November 30th and outflow started to dominate since then. Inflows are back up now. We want to see this stay above. We do not want this to pull right back down. And if it does pull down, if it finds support below, even though that midpoint happened, but below that midpoint, it finds support at around 45 cent, 40 cent area. And this bull indicator does not get canceled by a bear indicator. It's going to be significant for it to pull back up, cross over it and start bringing itself up towards 60 cents and then seeing those upper levels of 65 to 70 cent area before we start talking about higher levels and for this bull indicator in the process to continue to hold strong and no bear indicator pop up to cancel it and once again for that one hour to continue strong as well as it's now over the midpoint it just needs to pull away from it and it got a bull indicator today as well at around 49 to 50 cent guys as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money